Hey everybody, Tennis Bubba 13 and welcome back to episode number 9 of GoldenEye with Bubba. Here today we are playing on the map known as Peak. And we are playing a conflict game for you this week. And surprisingly, I am quite getting used to uh, Peak in this point because uh, I'm starting to understand a little bit of the respawn points and where people are actually spawning most of the times. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, Peak is somehow a, a typical long-range map, and I see plenty of people using snipers and other weapons, but so forth. But overall, Peak is... I don't know, I'm starting to like Peak just a little bit, not so much. But it's one of the more popular maps out there, I would say. But anyways, that's not really the point here. The point is that I'm going to be probably explaining a little bit about the SMG classes today. And speaking of such, I'm using the Stogger UA1 SMG, probably one of the more significant uh, inter integrated uh, SMG gun out there. Um, it's probably one of the probably one of my top five favorite guns in this game, and I usually play this a lot too on the Wii version all, all the time. So <laughs> there you go. So without further ado, I'm going to probably go over some of the basics of the SMGs, like what guns you have. And, attachments pretty much what I've done for the last episode which was the sniper class um, pretty much gonna be do going down the rows each week and explaining some of the classes every week so next week we'll probably talk about the assault rifles and so forth until we get to the specials but for now let's get started okay so the first gun that you get is the Sigma gun for the SMGs uh, Sigmas is not really one of the best guns out there so far. I mean, it's got pretty good rate of fire, but damage is very weak. Accuracy is kind of weak, and that range is also pretty terrible. Um, but you do get some nice attachments to go with it. The attachments you get in this game for the Sigmas is pretty much uh, laser pointer, silencer, reflex sights, com compensator, ACOG scope, and the thermal scope. Yes, that's right. They even added thermal scopes to SMGs, which that could be pretty good, I must say. And I talked to Wolfen before. Wolfen's a pretty decent YouTuber who also does GoldenEye gameplays. And he told me that it's pretty decent with the thermal scopes, I must say. Um, but Sigmas is, again, not one of the greatest guns. And when you do level up, when you get the Sigmas 9, that's the next gun. Uh, the rate of fire has pretty much increased. Damage is pretty significant. And accuracy is among their range is approximately the same as all the damage accuracies but the Sigmas 9 gun you pretty much are gonna probably stick with that a little bit ahead of time uh, the guns attachments for that are the laser pointer silencer reflex sight compensator ACOG and thermal scope once more um, the next gun that you do get which is the one I'm currently using the Stogger uh, Stogger is pretty much decent I must say uh, the Stogger shot, uh, gun is pretty much a good damage gun, I would say. Rate of fire is pretty good. Accuracy is a little bit iffy in some points. But the <clears throat> if you add like the compensator to it, it probably makes the accuracy a little bit better. Although it pretty much lowers the damage rate at this point. Uh, the silencer actually is pretty useful for the Stogger, which I'm currently using right now. Um, I do like to use it in some points because when there's a lot of people in some uh, free-for-all matches, I usually like to stay undetected at some point and make it a little bit uh, ninja style, I must say. <laughs> so Stogger is definitely one of the good classes, uh, good SMGs to use. The next one, of course, is uh, the Vargan FH7, which is really, really fast on great fire. The only weakness of this gun is pretty low damage -y. Um, accuracy is a little bit low and the, and the range of it is pretty weak, although it's really good for close combat action. Um, I recently just unlocked the Vargan and the only attachments I would probably say are good, uh, the laser pointer or the silencer, I'm not really sure about any of the others, the reflex sight might be a good choice. Um, not too sure about the ACOGs and thermal scopes because I don't know how it's going to look like once I unlock it. And of course, the very last SMG gun that you do get is probably the one of the best out there right now. The Strata is by far the best from, of rate of fire. Damage is very, very high. Accuracy is pretty high as well. Range is ridiculous, I must say. 
Uh, Strata is probably one of the better known uh, guns out there in the game as of, as of now. A lot of people use the Strata over over times. And uh, you can see uh, the music's changing, so that means we're getting pretty close to the end of the gameplay here. So, as far as um, attachments go, like for gadgets, I would probably recommend using the uh, um, high cap magazine if you ever unlock that at level 29. And that pretty much adds an extra bit of shots into your SMGs for when, when you're playing conflict gameplays and or the such of like teams of some sorts like team conflicts or uh, anything else in team related matchups so definitely want to stick with the high caps um, as far as others go usually all I like to do is I like to use more of um, more of fast reload I would say because I don't really like to reload when there's like a bunch of people in the game as well <laughs> Look at that, I killed a guy with the MJR rockets and completely missed that. That would have been such a huge disappointment right there. <laughs> Anyways, final score was 20 to 7. Gotta say, it was a pretty close game and pretty good kill death ratio I got there. So, there you go. Until then, I'll see you next week when we talk about the assault rifles. Until then, see you guys later.